In this session, uh, we will have a look at a typical core banking architecture. So let's start off by dividing it into four distinct zones. And what exactly are those zones? The first one would be the channel layers. Second one would be the application layer hosting the application servers. The third one would be the database. And finally, the all important reporting server layer. So what exactly are the channel layers? Channel layers are all your uh, mobile banking apps, your internet banking, call center. Then these are the users who use the front end of your core banking application. And then you have uh, the ATM switch, which sends ISO 8583 to the core banking. This is the channel layer in brief. So they will all connect to an enterprise service bus, either directly or indirectly. And probably the bank would have some third party or in-house uh, systems, which are also connect to the ESB. Now from the ESB, it would branch out to the core banking application server, which is hosting the, the user interface, or it will do the integration server, or it will go to the ATM application server. So how it works is that the users will access the URL through HTTP protocol, and then it goes into the CBS application. Now the various channels probably would be interacting with the REST API using JSON payload or SOAP using XML payloads, goes via the ESB and gets into the interface server. Whereas the ATM switch through the ESB um, would go into the ATM application server, which can process 8583 transaction. Now from all of these, it has to go to the core banking database where the data storage happens. Now, part of the business logic could be the app layer, part of it could be on the database layer, uh, depends on the solution provider. Or else you will have a document management system to upload uh, documents, especially when you are creating customers, processing loan applications, you will have certain documents which you will upload into a separate database, not exactly the CBS RDBMS. You will have a Prometheus server, which will be scraping through information from all across the servers. So for simplicity, we have just put the interface app and the DB supplying information to Prometheus from where it connects to Grafana, wherein you have the uh, the beautiful reports uh, being um, pulled out. Then you have the Swift. Uh, the integration could be direct or through a Swift bureau, which the bank might have uh, tied up with. So through IBM MQ, it will send out either MT or MX messages. Then you will have for communication a Kafka. So you will be publishing your events either from the database or from the app to the Kafka topics. And uh, further on, it will be sent out to uh, for SMS, WhatsApp and other communication channels. Then the important reporting layer. So you will have um, reporting database which will be replicated online real time either through an active data guard or through golden gate or through other mechanisms like sand replication but active data guard is probably a very good option now from this database you will have uh, the reports uh, taken out directly either through a reporting tool like uh, power bi tableau or uh, analytical server of oracle or it could be pushed to a data warehouse or an enterprise data warehouse uh, through an ODI agent. Now the banks and the systems might also be pushing it into the data warehouse for consultative reports enterprise wide. The bank may also have certain softwares which it might have subscribed from the cloud um, with software as a service. So let's take example of a Salesforce uh, CRM application. You cannot connect it directly. So you might have to go through a, a past solution. So there are certain uh, solution offerings. For example, if it is an Oracle OCI, they have an Oracle integration cloud through which uh, offering you can connect from your SaaS application to your in-house uh, interface system on-premise, and then it goes into the uh, core banking database. So this in brief, uh, guys, is how a typical solution landscape of a core banking application. Of course, this has been simplified uh, in this context, but this will help probably give you a good understanding of how the landscape looks like. Thank you for being with us.